Hey, what up, guys? It's Brandon here. Welcome back to some more Super Smash Bros. Brawl Subspace Emissary. So, in the last episode, we basically did um, only two... Well, we mostly just did one stage because we're actually at, the, at this stage right now. As you guys can see, we did not finish the stage yet. But, um, I'll get into that after. But first, we did the Swamp, which was the only level we actually beat in the last episode. And, um, well, we had, Fal we had Falco join us during, you know, Diddy Kong and Fox Quest. And he basically, Fox, no, not Fox, Falco, um, basically destroyed that machine that Bowser was using to turn um, characters into trophies and all that. And then um, we ended up having to fight a pretty much a giant false Diddy Kong because Bowser basically uh, yeah, turned, turned Diddy Kong to a trophy. And then, of course, uh, the Dark Matter started, uh, you know, pretty much turn, turning Diddy Kong into a false Diddy Kong. Well, not it didn't transform him, but it basically made a clone of him, but it was an evil Diddy Kong, obviously. But... That's pretty much what was happening. It wasn't the character that was turning evil. It was it was like a clone, but I'll explain that later on in this playthrough. But yeah, but we had to face this giant Diddy Kong, which was really annoying because um, it was like one, one it was like one attack and you're basically dead. It was it was ridiculous. Like it's like I kept getting one shotted. It was just really ridiculous. But we finally beat it. There was tons of rage there, but we managed to beat it afterwards. Then um, we basically did. We, we basically started this stage, which is the pretty much also re the, the um, research facility, because there was already another level called that. So we're basically doing Pikachu and uh, Samus's quest again. So um, and basically Samus got her suit suit back. Well, not I guess I guess you could say Sam Samus got her suit back, but basically she upgraded to regular Samus from Zero Suit Samus, which is which is great. We had to go. And, we had to go and basically defeat these um, dark. I guess. I guess they look like false Samuses, but they're actually, um, I, I guess I, I'm, well, I don't know what they're actually, but I'm, I'm assuming that they're like guardians of the suit, so we basically got that, and then what was really annoying over here, I'm not going to show you guys right now, but, um, <clears throat> so right over here, we basically, so we did, we had to do all this crap where these elevators would go and zoom by and all that, it was really, really annoying, but we, we made it over here to this door, so it, it was just very challenging, but we finally made it over here last episode at the end of the last episode and yeah um this is the first time in this playthrough where i had to end off the episode in the middle of a level and this is the first this is the first time in this playthrough that i'm starting starting an episode in a level because i you guys know every episode i started so far was um you guys saw the map and everything but uh yeah that's what was happening so i couldn't i didn't i did not have enough time to beat this level last episode so we're gonna finish it off in this episode so in this episode, we're going to go and basically uh, do this room here. This room is kind of challenging, but all you have to do is just press up and go through these teleporters. And look at that, another CD. Jeez. Because I was getting CDs nonstop off camp. <coughs> oh, sorry, guys. I felt like something was in my throat. But, like, I kept getting CDs nonstop off camera. It's ridiculous. So that's what was happening there. But that, that room is kind of, like, sort of pointless, but not really. You, you'll see. It is going to play a pretty big role, though. It's kind of like a little maze, because you have to, like, go through, um, the, I guess, I guess you have to, like, go through the right one a little bit, but, because I feel, I don't know, well, yeah. Oh, okay, I didn't mean to go in there, but, I mean, this is, this is where you're supposed to go anyway. Because there's two, there's actually two of these. Hold on, you'll see. So there's another one, like, on the other side. Let me just go through here. So there's another one right there, we'll go through, we'll go through there later. But this is the one you're supposed to go in. So. But yeah, you guys can see I'm, of, of course, I'm down to like two stocks because I, I did lose. I think I lost, yeah, I, I lost the life at the, at the, um, at the elevator, I believe. I think. Yeah, I did, of course, because I messed up. Because that elevator, that elevator part was so annoying because the platforms moved so fast and it was just really ridiculous. And I was really raging hardcore at it before, too. But now we have to go on this platform, which is like a little elevator. And we have to, um, we can't, we, we're not going to go that way. We're going to go over here, because if we go in that other teleporter, we're going to, we, we would end up back at the beginning, so. But what we had to do, we had to, we had to pretty much go up here and hit the switch, so now we can go through that door, but now we have to go and pretty much make our way back, so. And we're going to go back, uh, this way. Yeah, look at it, we fall down here and we're back in this room again. But you know what, I'm kind of curious to see what that other, um, god damn it, and see, I hate these glyphs. You guys know, you guys saw these last episode. So you guys got introduced to these, to those assholes. It's ridiculous. All right, we're at um, almost five minutes now. Jeez. Yeah, sorry for the long intro, by the way. But uh, yeah, I just want to see what, what this one takes you to. I'm pretty sure it takes you back to the beginning, but 
Yes, he does. But yeah, that's basically all we had to do here, and now we're gonna pretty much finish off the level. Well, yeah, yeah, right now. So we got hearts here because now we're gonna face off a boss. So not only we had to face, not only we had to face um those two, I guess, guardians, um in this level, we're gonna fight a boss now. And um, I'm pretty sure you guys already know who it's gonna be. So, but. Yep, so we got Samus and Pikachu heading over to this wide open area. And yep, you guessed it, it's Ridley. See, so basically we have to face face Ridley, which makes sense because obviously we're Samus. And look at this. This 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 is this is kind of wild right here. Like jeez, it's like Ridley's just dragging Samus like across the um across the wall. Like dang. That's ridiculous. And look at that, Pikachu stops him like that, which is good. Yeah, you yeah, you show him Pikachu. <laughs> yep, here we go. So now we're gonna go and basically fight now. So we'll start off with Pikachu, why not? And then we'll have Samus. So yeah, you guys can see Samus has has her armor now, her suit now, which is good. Because I mean, I mean, I, I do like Zero Suit Samus too, but I, I think I would prefer just you know regular Samus because Samus regular Samus has the better um better uh, attacks and whatnot, better moves, of course. Oh yeah, I, I like this move right here. That moves. I don't know. I, I always like that move, to be honest. It it kind it, it does remind remind me of um that one move that Master Hand does, where he uses his finger. I don't know. He uses like his hand and like moves it around in a circle like that from the background. It, it's pretty much similar to Ridley's attack right there. So it's pretty cool. God damn it. I think this the move I really hate is that yeah that move. I think that's the only move I really hate from Ridley. But overall, Ridley's just. I think Ridley's all right. He's not like too annoying. Except this move right here. Yeah, that move. That move is the... No, I, I would say that move is the worst. Yeah, I would say that's the worst move. Because you don't know whether Ridley's going to be like... Because because it depends on which altitude he'll be at when he does that. It's annoying. Like, you, you don't know if he's going to be right on the ground or, like, in the air. Because I remember, I remember I was expecting to jump over him. But then, of course, he had to screw with my brain. And he ended up, fl like, flying, like, flying in the air. And I ended up dying. That time, I thought he was going to be in the air, so that's why I stayed on the ground, but of course it was already too late before I realized. It sucks, though. But yeah, that, it, that's, this is pretty much the Ridley battle. Um, This will this will not be the last time we're going to face him, though. And it's not going to be the same like how we had to fight Galleon twice. No, we're going to we're gonna be facing a different kind of Ridley later on. You'll see who, who you'll see what's going to happen. Wait, yeah, here we go. See, look at that. That's where that's where I got confused before, where I thought I, I was gonna jump over Ridley, but no, of course Ridley had to do that crap. So th that time I was ready. Oh crap! All right. I mean, overall he's just he's all right. Just some moves are just very annoying. It takes forever to kill him too, which sucks. But it's not too bad though. So. And it's really cool. It's really cool to end it off like this too, because this is going to be the end of the research facility area, I believe. And there we go. And we finished it off like that. So there you go. We basically defeated Ridley with Samus. Oh crap! The stickers. Wasn't paying attention. God dang it. All right. I apologize. But now look at this. Now we're out here. Yeah. Look at this now. It's like it's like it's, I guess I guess this is like the ancient ruins or something like that. Oh, I and mean, look at this now. So I guess in there's where uh, I'm pretty yeah yeah pretty much in there is where you know everything's like located like all like where all the um capsules are, are are kept at and everything like that's part that's pretty much where all that's coming from so that's pretty ridiculous oh and by the way guys of course since I had to restart this level off camera um all this stuff I got was was th th this was not the stuff I got last episode because because um you know I had to restart the level so pretty much everything you, you guys see right here. All the all the trophies and stickers, and of course the two CDs I got was a Pokey Floats from Melee and Golden Force 1080 Snowboarding. Wow! But yeah, all this stuff I got was off was when I was trying to get back to where I left. Obviously, when I was trying to get back to uh, you know where we left off last episode, and I and some and some stuff I did get, such as that such as one of the CDs I got um while we, you know at that last part. And look, I, I, in, in that Gleiss trophy I got, I, I, I basically captured one of them at the beginning at the beginning of the stage with the you know the trophy frisbee and all that. So, but yeah, that's pretty. This is pretty much all the stuff we got. Um, it's not too much though. But that's basically the research facility there, and we 100% it too. See, now we got Samus. So that's how you do it. 
But anyways, now we're gonna go to the next stage, which is outside the ancient ruins. This time we're not we're not gonna play as Samus though in Pikachu. You'll you'll see who it's gonna be this time. It's gonna be it's pretty much gonna be introducing two new two well not two new characters, but like two characters that um <clears throat> have not been introduced in the story yet. So but it's not, it's not like it's not like new characters that we have never seen before or anything like that, but it's you'll you'll see, but let's just go get right into it now. But yeah, look at this. And you guys can pretty much already you guys can already assume who we're gonna be running into now. You look at this, you got this giant rob, and then there's all these Pikmin just attacking it. And now look at that, all the Pikmin just die. Like wow. Yeah, there's all them are, so yeah, you guys guessed it. So yeah, all them are is basically basically making his first appearance in the story. <laughs> And now look at this. Now we got Captain Falcon as well. You know, look at this. <laughs> Captain Falcon. Okay, so he did a big Falcon punch. I, I love that right there as well. <laughs> I always love that when, when Captain Falcon just slides into all the Pikmin and just kills them all. Like, wow. I always love this intro though, but you know, we'll start off with Almar, then we'll do Captain Falcon. So... But yeah, um, ancient. This stage is kind of annoying, but and look at that. I like how you see the um the ship in the background as well. You guys remember that? I think that's I think that's the same ship. Yeah, that's that's definitely the same ship from um, Pikmin 2, obviously. So I couldn't tell if it was the um, but I yeah I could see the two cockpits though, because you guys know Olimar and Louie were um in that ship and all that. Because you guys know the first Pikmin it was a different ship, and it was just Olimar in the game, so. I never done a I never I never done a playthrough on the first Pikmin, but you guys remember last year I did Pikmin 2 on the channel. So and look at we we even got the the trophy for the ship as well. But yeah, um, I mean this stage is kind of annoying because we're gonna be right, there's gonna be some enemies that are really gonna piss me off. But first we're gonna go down here, and of course we gotta deal with this guy. This guy just falls out of nowhere. But I just want to kill him right now, right there. And you'll you'll wonder how we're gonna get out, but. Oh yeah, look at that. I forgot about that part. We have to we have we have to catch one of those trophies before it falls in that little pit. So we we almost failed to to, uh, to recover Tetra. Oh, crap. <clears throat> Sorry, had to clear my throat a little bit. <clears throat> I've been having like nonstop hiccup burps too, which which kind of sucks because because I was I was getting like a little bit of heartburn, respiratory heartburn, and all that. I sometimes get that whenever I like like I guess because I, I I did just have like um deli delivery pizza and all that so. It's usually whenever I eat stuff like that, I, I would get that um, heartburn, whatever. Eating like fat, fattening grease and all that crap. Oh god damn it! All right, is he gonna jump? He's probably gonna jump over here again. I, I didn't even know they could jump like that. I like this background right here. It's like it's like it's it's like it's like it's an entrance that got destroyed. So this is like it's like the it's like an yeah of course it's the ruins. So but it's like the ancient ruins, which is really cool. How it's how it's so so deserted. It's weird because it all like the. Like the whole, the whole atmosphere just looks all lively, but yet this is a this is a area that's been destroyed. You know, we gotta deal with these gami gods again, which these guys were pissing me off recently. They were really making me angry. All right, there we go. Yeah, yeah, and especially those those um birds again. There we go. Oh crap! God damn it! There we go. All right, all right, come on. I was like, I was like, where's the enemies at? There we go. I was waiting to throw this shell, but of course the enemies just took forever to show up. Yeah. Oh, and screw those Rob sentries. They were really pissing me off when I was making my way back to, you know, where we left off at the research facility, because they just kept on—they um, just kept beating the crap out of me, and it was, I was getting really annoyed by that. Yeah, see, and of course, they always have to charge at you and just beat the, beat the living shit out of you too. Like it's—it's to it's totally unnecessary. All right. Um. Wait. I want to get up here actually. Oh, if I could even try, try to. Because these rob launchers are getting in the way, and I think this is where I also got pissed off. Yeah, this is where I got pissed off at the at these guys. See, look at that. Look how OP that move is. Wait, there's a door. All right, let me just go and kill this guy first, just so he's not interfering when I'm trying to make it up here. Right, come on, there we go. All right, wow, 14 minutes already. Well, I mean, only 14 minutes actually, since we. This is basically like our. Um, since it didn't take us that long to even beat the research facility level. Oh, come on. Whatever. I'll let it slide. Oh, come on. See that shit? Ugh. Whatever. 
At least now we can see Captain Falcon. So now we get to play as Captain Falcon for the first time in this story. All right. And I immediately do Okay, thank God. No, stop, please. God dang, I hate this part. This part sucks. There we go. Now I got the R wing. All right. Jeez. Screw this. Screw this room. All right. But we definitely had to come over here so we could get get all that stuff. I hope. Since I couldn't get that trophy, I hope I hope it doesn't I hope it doesn't count as um. Because I, I don't know. Because if I end up not 100%ing the level because I didn't, I wasn't able to grab a trophy, then that that would be that would be kind of stupid. It's probably gonna be like that, I guess. Um, I don't know. That could that could be the case. I'll be pissed off if that's if, if that happens though. All right, let's go through the door now. All right, so now I got another cutscene. Now look at this. See, there's that ship again where um, you see, there's Donkey Kong, and Diddy Kong there. Oh, actually, no, Diddy Kong's right there. That's right. Yeah, na now Diddy Kong's gonna fall right on that platform. Yeah, look at this. Now he gets rid of all the primids, and there's Donkey Kong still captured. Yeah, I forgot. I forgot because yeah, look at this. I like how all the Mars is really scared, and, and yeah, Cam Falcon's like jumping, jumping down. Yep, there we go. Now Donkey Kong's finally free again. See ya. Now look at that. We gotta deal with all these primitives. And now look at that. Now they all join forces. Except, um, Falco basically. So, so here's the thing. Falco basically dropped, dropped off, um, Diddy Kong. So we're not gonna, I don't know when we're gonna see Falco again, really. We have, so we get to play as Diddy Kong, Donkey Kong, Olimar, and Kent Falcon. <clears throat> yeah, I forgot because I, I, since I'm, since I was so used to my off-camera file, I thought that, um, here, let's just start with Donkey Kong since we just rescued him, but, and we'll do, uh, We'll do Olimar and then Camp Falcon and Diddy Kong last. But, yeah, I mean, I, I was so used to my off-camera file that I thought that this already happened. So that's why I said Diddy Kong as well, but no, Diddy, Diddy, Kong's, Diddy Kong was supposed to uh, jump down and uh, basically rescue Donkey Kong. And now we get to play as Donkey Kong, Diddy Kong, Olimar, and Camp Falcon, which is good. So now they basically uh, join together. And I love this background right here. Like, it's really cool how we're fighting all these... So this is obviously one of those, um... Parts of the parts of the stage where uh, we have to just you know do do all, do all these battles. So you know, obviously obviously um, a big a big battle. Well, I guess you could say endurance or whatever. It's almost like multi-man melee kind of you know. Or if, <clears throat> I guess you could say fighting team team uh, teams or uh, like you know like um, in classic mode you would fight like team uh, like let's say team uh, Olimar or something like that. Team Donkey Kong whatever. I don't know. It's, it's hard. I, I can't. I'm, I'm having trouble trying to think in word. Um, say stuff too. Oh come on. All right. Nope. God damn it! I meant to pick that up. Now I die because I hit it. Oh well. But yeah, I really love how how cool this looks. Where you're you're fighting you're fighting while on this on on this platform while it's uh on its. Oh my god. See, and I hate those motherfuckers. I already lost two lives that quickly. And look, another freaking smart bomb. Like, can you stop with the bombs, please? It's really annoying. Like, the items have to just lay there just to, just to tease your ass. Just to, just to bully you. It's annoying. Like, come on. Why the... No, I'm not dying again. Fuck that. Please. It's so... It is so easy to die in this game. It really is. In this story. Well, probably in this game in general, but... God dang, dude. It's easier to die in this game than Sonic Heroes. You guys know how easy it is to die there. And see that? You see that? All right, come on. This is three more, and it's it's the goddamn metal primits. They're the worst. I hate metal primits with a passion. No. Oh my god, dude. It's so annoying. Oh man, here comes the biggest rage of this episode so far. But it's real. All right, train, train. Shut the fuck up. Holy crap. I like how you get the uh, mushroom at, at the very end. But goddamn, you guys heard that train? I don't know if you guys heard the train, but. That train was being loud as hell outside my house. But yeah, look at that. So now we basically did it. So yeah, there's Falco giving the thumbs up. And then I don't know when we're gonna see Fox Falco again. I meant. But yeah, look at that. Now, now this is now this platform's approaching inside the um, pretty much inside the plat uh, you know, the floating island and all that. It's really cool though. It kind of reminds me of Star Wars to be honest. I don't know why. Probably because, probably because there, like you know, there'd be times where on um, the millennial, the Millennium Falcon, like 
you know, lands inside the, like that time when the Millennium Falcon lands inside the Death Star and, you know, all the, you know, like Luke Skywalker Han Solo, they had to be disguised as stormtroopers and whatnot. So, I, I, it, I that's just what it reminded me of, but, yep, so, we got the Rob Center trophy, Hogatate ship, yeah, that, that's what it's called. Tetra and R-Wing, so yeah, we got those trophies. And then here's all the stickers we got, so, we have, there you, there you have it. But yeah, that was just really annoying towards the end, of course. And having to deal with those metal, metal, um... Yeah, look at that, we just got like three three char three new characters just like that in one stage. Which, yeah, so it, it, it is pretty ridiculous how, um... I forget. Yeah, it's like it's like it's so easy to die. I don't, I don't know why it's so easy to die in this, um... In this game lately. Which is dumb. Well, it's, it, it's always like that. But you guys saw, like, come on, I was, I, was, I was really trying to pick up the bomb and I just hit it instead. Like, what the hell? It, I, I don't know why I'm having that issue lately. Like, I, I know the bomb is there. I know I, I know to pick it up. But instead, I got, I, I freaking, like, hit it. It's, it makes no sense. It's like I wasn't close enough. Like, goddamn. Makes me, it really pissed me off. Alright, we're at, um, 21 minutes. Um, I don't know if I want to do this level yet. Because this level, oh man, this level really, really, this level really made me rage. It really just let the anger out on let me just get angry. Oh my god. I guess we'll see how far we can get, but I just don't expect just don't expect me to beat this level this episode. So let's go and start off with the glacial peak. Yep, and here we go. Look at this now. See we got the um, corner what's it the corneria and um and the halberd ship uh, fighting. And see Meta Knight Meta Knight's not even controlling the ship obviously this entire time. So Meta Knight's trying to go come up come up there and now you look at this. See, we got ice climbers, pretty much. Which makes sense, because, um, you know, this is the glacial peak. And every time I see this stage, I, it always reminds me of, um, the ice climbers. Yeah, look at that. Now, 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 it's, it's almost like the ice climbers are seeing this as a challenge. See, we're, we're just gonna be playing as Man Knight and ice climbers for this, um, for this level. We're not gonna have Martha, or Ike, or Lucas in Pokemon Trainer. So. Because you guys know, um, you know, Lu Lucas and Pokemon Trainer join Martha, Ike, and Man Knight. But instead, Meta Knight's jumping up instead, which makes sense. I mean, I mean, yeah, because it's not even possible for like, really, for like Pokemon Trainer, of course. Well, I mean, the Pokemon could, could jump up there, like Charizard and all that. But you know, ooh, excuse me. But you know, Marth and Ike, they, they wouldn't be able to like climb climb mountains like this. And the Ice Climbers are used to this stuff. So, but it's really cool. This level is actually pretty cool at the beginning. And all that, but it just gets really, really frustrating look towards the end. But yeah, um, you guys see right at like the very beginning, which is why all this ground is like brown and all that, because I was expecting everything to be all snowy right off the bat, but not not yet. And I like how there's these flags here showing how far you've gotten in the le in, in these levels, or how how high you've climbed, which is really cool. See, so there you go. I damn it. All right. But yeah, this level is very very frustrating. I mean, right now, it may- Oh, crap, forgot about that. Wow. Like, why does it gotta be like that? And look, there's spikes up there, too. Like, like when, when do you ever see spikes on mountains like this? Alright. Oh, here comes a bomb. Don't hit it. There we go. Alright, just leave it alone. Fuck that. I, I, I just can't- I'm, I'm scared to pick up bombs at this point. I really am, because apparently I can't- I can't pick up shit right now. Oh, nope. Why? Why is there gonna be explosives? Why? Why would I kill enemy? Like, I feel like that should be that. That should be just forbidden. Oh, look at that. Now, now my now the um the girl died. I forget. I th oh yeah, her name's Nana. I forget who the who the boy's name is, but um, I think it's Popo or something like that. I don't know. Oh, son of a bitch, dude! Like, come on. See how easy it is to die in this goddamn game. It's ridiculous. Like, that seems to be a theme we're running into here lately. Alright, we're just gonna fly up here. God damn it. But yeah, um... I mean, if I rage, um, don't be surprised, because that's that's what this level wants me to wants me to do. This level begs me to rage. This, this... Oh my god. Alright. Thanks for the help. Thanks for the help, motherfuckers. Fuck you. Why, why are they doing that so often? Why? They were not doing... Seriously, like, you guys know, um, the, the, like, the Ruins level, for example? These motherfuckers were not doing that so often. Like, why? Dang, dude. It's like all, it's like all of a sudden these enemies just want to do these moves. 
um, whenever they feel like it. It's bullcrap. Oh my goodness, dude. Oh man, yeah, see, like, there's just so much rage, dude. Oh man. Oh, here we go with these guys again. It's like so easy to die, I can't believe it. Yeah, I'm gonna die a bunch of times here. Just, just watch. Oh my god. No. No! Oh crap. No, don't die again, I swear to god. Didn't I just kill you guys? Didn't I just kill you guys? Like, go, like, screw off. Please. Oh, look at that. Here we go again. I mean, I like these guys, but they, they just, they sometimes annoy the shit out of me. Especially when they kept doing that, uh, and that, that, whatever that move, they, whatever that, that attack is. They just kept doing it non-stop. Like, can you just give me a break, goddammit? It's like the Totos. It's like whenever the, the Toto enemies, you know, always ram into me non-stop and shit. I don't get it. Alright. Well, no, no. Just die by, the, by those um, ice crystals. These ice crystals always look cool, though. Looks really... It, 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 and it gives me a lot of nostalgia, too. Just like just like how you guys... um When we were at the ruins, you guys saw those... um those purple crystals before as well. And that's pretty much how it was. Actually, hang on. Give me a second, guys. We'll be right back. Sorry about that, guys. I had, I had to take a little break just to release pressure off my foot since you guys know I'd be sitting on my foot but whenever I record videos. So. But, <clears throat> but yeah, that, that's pretty much why I paused the video, though. Anyways, we're um, going to hopefully get past this. I mean, this part's usually not too difficult for me, though. As soon as I say that, as soon as I say that, all right, thank God. Oh man, the rage is back. Plus, I I, I kind of need a break just just from all the rage anyway. This level this level is gonna get worse, just so you guys know. And yes, we're gonna be dealing with more of those Toto enemies too, because they were actually annoying the dog shit out of me in this level as well. Oh yeah, they were like they they annoyed me even more, way more than um you guys saw at, at the ruins. I keep referring to the ruins now. And plus, this is my favorite level, so you, you guys know I just, I just love that stage. <clears throat> Alright. Even though that stage also just really, um, is really annoying as well. I like how you got all these ice, ice here, too. Right. Hurry, you gotta hurry and grab it before I get crushed. Yeah, look at that. Yeah, look at this. Like, you have to really keep climbing. Cause it's, it's like this ice is gonna crush you. Yeah, like that. Like, look at that. It's, it's wild. All right, nope. Hang on, hang on. Let me go through the door. I think. Or no, I, th no, I actually I don't think. He yeah, that's. Oh, that is messed up. Just go through the door. Fuck that. All right. Yeah, that's ridiculous. Like they, they really just gave me all of those um metal pyramids, and then the spikes had to come down. Like, come on, dude. Now look at this. So now we're gonna go and uh, break this right here. Hang on. I like this music. This music. This music always sounds so good, though. Now look at this here. This is kind of weird. Like this weird room a little bit. Like I only. I guess we're like in some, some sort of cave area. Hey, it kind of makes it makes sense though. And then of course we have these switches that turn on the lights and all that. More stickers to get. And I think that's all we have to get here. Yeah. I was confused at first when I first did this again because. I thought that I thought this was the way to go a little bit, or I had to do something to set it to set the. the but no, you have to go up here. It's hard to get up there, actually. Well, it, it, it's hard to do it. Yeah, it's it's easier to do that with the cannon though. And now we got Glyce again, and this is where the Glyce truly pisses me off. There's another level towards the end of the game where I get really really frustrated by these Glyce. You'll see when. It's like toward the end of the toward the end of the story, but here this is one of the most annoying levels when it comes to these assholes. Yeah, you, you guys thought they were kind of bad um, at the research facility, but um, here, nah, nah. These these ones are these ones are even worse. Uh, it's hard to even like these ice physics kind of suck too. <clears throat> Sorry, I had to, I, had, I, I keep having to clear my throat too. <clears> throat> there we go. Oh my god, wow. Thank god I did not die. Thank god. Because it seems like... Look at that, see? And I lost all my lives. For the first time in this, um... 
episode. Well, I mean, not for, not for the first time, but... Continue. Oh, man. Of course, lost all my goddamn lives. You guys saw I lost all my... I think last time I lost all my lives was the ruins. And I'm not surprised either, because I, I figured... I figured it was going to be like that, because... I, and, and I, I lost all my lives, like, many times in this level. And I don't... I do not... I do not, um, expect myself to, um get through this level without losing um, all my lives anyway. Like, it's gonna happen again at some point, one way or another. But seriously, it had... Like, god dang, why the hell is it so easy to die in this game? Why? Like, come on. Like, I just... And it's dumb because it feels like I fly, like, only one centimeter off screen and I just die. Like, come on. It's like you die so goddamn fast. Like, yeah, actually, to be honest, it actually feels... It feels it feels, I feel like this game, it's, it's so easy, it's like the easiest to die in, in Brawl than any other Smash Brothers game. Even, even, it's easier to die in this game even more than Melee, to be honest. If I have to be completely honest. Well, maybe not. Maybe, uh, maybe Melee is, is, is the only exception a little bit, but I don't know. Ooh. Oh my god, dude. And, and it's, un, it's so unfair that these guys are, like, flying up too when you're trying to, like, like recover, and they have to just fly up and just... And just knock you off the screen, like goddamn, dude. Bad enough that Morgan like knocked off the screen from this, like, like just from being in the center of the level, or like in the center of the screen, and all of a sudden I'm like dead. But like, come on, dude. It's already bad enough. Excuse me. I mean, I already said that, but. But I like how these um flags change color. Like you guys see, um, it started off with blue and then it turned to green and then yellowish, and now it's orange. It's pretty cool though. But yeah, we're we're like. We're uh, really high now. You guys can see now, now. Now, now there's ice everywhere, which is really cool. Now this part, this part is the worst. This part is the absolute worst. And these guys need to screw off. Seriously, these. This is where I. This is where these Shida enemies are just are just so annoying. And then these spot guys are actually really annoying too. Like seriously. And if you guys can hear those um asshole Toto enemies again, so. I'm gonna go through here first, get some hearts since we're gonna need them. And now look at this. Oh, okay, good. Oh, I thought that was—I thought I was gonna die just from being metal. You guys see how far we—we we fell down like that? Jeez, like, or how far I fell down in the water? Like that's wild. And there we go. All right, got ourselves a trophy there. And that's how you do it right there. All right. Um, how many? Oh, we're at 32 minutes. All right, we're—we're we're going to end it off here actually. Yeah, you know what? No, we're gonna just we're gonna just be in this room for now, and I'll end it off here, just so just so this is like I guess you could say this is like a safe spot. So I was gonna try to finish off the level, but nah, we'll we'll just we'll 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 take care of the worst part of this level in the next episode. So I will see y'all next time, guys. Um, well, I wait, actually I'm not gonna say it yet. So like the, like thank you for watching. Be sure to check my other videos, and in the next episode we will finish off the uh, glacial. What's it called again? Oh, God damn, I can't remember now. It's hard to remember this. The glacial, whatever the heck it is, glacial mount. I can't remember what it's called now. I can never remember the name of this level. I'm just gonna call it the ice, the ice mountain or whatever the hell it is, or something. I don't know, whatever. But well, we're gonna finish off this level next episode, basically, and um, after that we'll go on from there. So, but yeah, so it's it's gonna be pretty exciting. Um, how how all this is gonna wind down. I mean, overall, though, it's pretty cool how, um, how we ended up, um, how, you know, Ice Climbers and Meta Knight ended up racing each other to the top of the mountain now. And you'll see at the end of this level who, who we're gonna run to next. It's gonna, it's gonna be pretty, pretty insane, so. But, yeah, I mean, we're, 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 we definitely, like I said, guys, we definitely did not tackle the worst part of this level just yet, so. We're, like, right there, though, um, about to tackle it. But you'll see next episode. Um, I might even just start the episode off like maybe a little, maybe a little, um, maybe a, a few seconds or not, maybe like a minute before we even reach here, just so, just so we, you guys get enough time to even to see the level, so I, so we don't have to start off the level with rage and rage and all that. So we'll see what happens though. But other, other than that, though, that's gonna pretty much be it. So we did a lot. We did a lot this episode. You know, we pretty much finished off the um, research facility, fought Ridley, and. I mean, that's all we did there. And then we basically did the, uh, what was it called again? It's hard to remember now. Oh, yeah, of, of course, um, outside the ancient ruins. 
so obviously it's not the actual ruins like the ruins we had to deal with it was the ancient ruins which was the different ruins obviously so um and obviously we got to, we got introduced to Olimar and Captain Falcon and we and we basically had Diddy Kong save Donkey Kong and now we're and now we we pretty much boarded um went went aboard that um that ship that pretty much went inside the uh you know that that island and all that so things are getting really juicy though so I can't, I can't I can't wait to do more of this for you guys obviously it's it's it's, it's just it's, it's just gonna get more and more exciting as we go along but other than that though that's gonna pretty much be it. So, um, and hopefully, hopefully tomorrow you guys will get, um, Super Smash Bros. Melee again. So I could, and, and you guys could wit, 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 witness, it, witness me raging at the, um, at the events. Because I did mention that the video you guys were supposed to get last week, and pretty much last weekend, was, um, was Melee. But of course I keep, you know, procrastinating. Well, I don't know. I, I just never, I just, I, I just, I, I, I usually want to wait for the right mood. But at the same time, I should just get out of the way at some point, so... Hopefully tomorrow you guys will get it, but if not tomorrow, then hopefully this weekend. And I, I'll be, I'll, I'll make sure to do it this weekend if, if so. But for now, that's gonna appear to be a wrap here. So I will see y'all next time, guys. Be sure to subscribe for my videos, and if you enjoyed this episode, be sure to hit that like button. And that's gonna appear to be it for you guys. So I will see y'all next time. Thank you guys for watching.